Hi there, welcome to my channel. I'm Deidre from Our Upcycled Life. And if you like upcycling, repurposing, thrifting, and a good DIY, you've come to the right place and we'd love to have you follow along. So make sure you like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any great content. Today I'm upcycling a lamp and shade that I've had um, sitting side, not quite sure what I wanted to do with it, and I got inspired today. So I'm gonna give it kind of a boho feel. Um, picked it up at the thrift store, was 50% off, $5.99, a great deal. So let's get upcycling this. I picked this lamp and shade up at the thrift store. It was $10.99 and the red tag was 50% off. The shade is a little bit dusty, so I'm gonna wash it with some soap and water and then we'll be ready to upcycle this. And make sure you stick around to see how I painted the base. I thought this shade would look really good with a macrame fringe. So that's what I'm going to do. I got some macrame cord off of Amazon and I'm going to make just a simple fringe to go around the outside of the shade. The first thing I wanna do is measure around the shade and then take my macrame cord and make it six times that length. And I'll tell you right now, I am not a macrame expert. I only know a few knots, but these knots to make this fringe are really easy. Um, I'll try to show you the best that I can, but I'll also put a link down below for a girl who made a wonderful video with really easy instructions on how to do these knots. So I have enough of the macrame cord to go around the lampshade six times. I need four of those cords that length. And I need a whole bunch of little pieces to make the fringe around the lamp and just cut them to how long you want your fringe to be. I've taped down those four long cords and I'm just going to do a square knot And then I'm going to take one of those shorter pieces of cord, fold it in half, and do a lark's head knot. And that piece of cord is going to make the fringe. And you're just going to keep repeating that pattern until you have the length to go around your lamp. And this is what it should look like. All finished, I've trimmed off the long ends that were left over and it goes completely around my lampshade. And now to unravel all these pieces of the fringe. It takes a little bit of patience and a little bit of time. Make a coffee, sit quiet and just unravel. And when you unravel them, it makes them nice and full and puffy. OK, 
Okay, all finished, and now I need to trim them up so they're even all along the whole edge. You can take a fine tooth comb at this point and brush out that fringe and it'll get all the little knots and make everything nice and smooth so you can see where you need to cut it to make it all even. And it's all ready to put on the shade and I just love the way that this little fringe has turned out. It gives it such a nice boho feel. I'm just going to be using my hot glue gun. I really love the Gorilla Glue Sticks. It works really well, bonds everything really securely and I'm just going to put the glue on the back of the macrame knots and then let the fringe fold over the edge of the lampshade. Once I got to the end, I just trimmed off the long pieces and then hot glued them down securely. Now I'm just gonna comb them out again and see if I have any long pieces while it's laying flat like this that I need to trim off. And now we're gonna get at this base. I picked it up for $10.99, it was 50% off. Not loving the blue, I'm gonna give it a coat of my homemade coffee grind paint. It needs a real good cleaning first, so I'm gonna scrub it up with a wipe, take all the tags off of it, and we'll be good to go. There is a little chip in it, but when I put on the coffee grind paint, it will cover that up completely. I'm gonna put some painter's tape on the top and around the cord so I don't get paint on everything. And we're ready to get painting. I'm going to use my coffee grind paint. I did a tutorial last week on how to make this um, paint and it is fabulous. The texture in it is amazing and I think it's gonna complement the shade really nicely. I'll put a link down below for that video and you can check that out afterwards and get the recipe. And it's quite a thick consistency of a paint. This type of paint you don't have to prep beforehand. It is a chalk paint um, base so it will adhere to any surface without having to sand it or to prime it. For your first coat you just want to apply it liberally over the whole base of the lamp. And this is what it's gonna look like after your first coat. It will look a little bit streaky, but when you put your second coat on, all that will go away. Okay, I've let that first coat completely dry, and now we're ready for the second coat. And when you're applying your second coat, you wanna dab it on. You don't wanna do too many brush strokes. You want that coffee grind in the paint to be kind of stippled and make it look like it's kind of textured. And this is what it should look like as you're putting on your second coat. I let it dry completely and now I'm just gonna put a third coat just here and there where I think it just needs a little bit more texture. And you may find that your paint might get a little bit thick. If it does, you can just add a little bit more water to it and thin it out a little bit. As I was working away with the third coat, it did have a tendency to get a little bit thick on me.
Now I've let this sit aside overnight so it's completely dry and I'm gonna take a 120 sanding block and sand the entire base of the lamp. What you wanna do is you'll have little bits and pieces of the coffee that will kind of flake off and you want that brown to show through when you sand it and it'll give it a really nice browny textured look. As you can see, the little brown flecks that are starting to show through. And doesn't that look amazing? I just love this technique. And I'm ready to seal it. And I'm gonna use my Verithane polyacrylic sealer in a matte finish. I find with this paint, you want to seal it because it does have a little bit of a coffee odor and you wanna seal that odor in so you don't smell it. And um, you just put a liberal coat over your whole project and seal it up really well. And as you seal it with this polyacrylic, it actually brings out that brown fleck even more so. Make sure you use a polyacrylic water-based non-yellowing formula. I'll put a link down below in the description for what I love to use. And there it is, all finished. And I love this upcycle, $5.99, completely redid this whole lamp, and it has a beautiful boho feel that I love for our bedroom. Keep an eye out when thrifting for that perfect lamp to create your own. Thanks so much for watching today's video, and if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below, I love to read them. I'll be sharing so many more DIY thrifting repurposing videos, so if you aren't already following along, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell, and that will let you know when I upload my next video. See you real soon, take care, and have a great day.